Harold Reams has been described as well-known and well-liked. A lot of people thought a lot of, uh, of Harold Reams. On a January evening in 2007, just after midnight, a relative found the former magistrate shot and killed in his Laurel County home on the street that bears his name. It's been a puzzling case. Pretty much from the get-go, we didn't have any witnesses. Uh, uh, don't have any, you know, no neighbor, any, no neighbors saw anything. Um, this kind of, um, it was a very difficult fight case from the very beginning. Even if someone did hear the fatal shot, the sound would not have necessarily caught anyone's attention in the rural landscape. It's kind of like a lot of areas down here. People shoot a lot. So, if, you know, if he, if he hears a shot across the thing, he's not going to think nothing of it. You know, it's, it's old, you know, what's the name shooting down the road. So They have tried to solve it and have the resources at their disposal. It's very frustrating, and uh, matter of fact, this is the only case since the... Uh, the London Laurel County Major Crimes Task Force was evolved in 1999 that's gone unsolved. So uh, there's uh, six detectives from three different agencies, uh, London City Police, Laurel County Sheriff's Department, and Kentucky State Police. They're on this task force and, uh, and uh, we're all six uh, working on this case. They've looked into his employment. After all, days before he was killed, Harold Reams lost his job. As far as our investigation, there's nothing that points toward that or really away from it. So, you know, it's, it's unknown right now if that had anything to do with it or not. So who would want to kill Harold Reams, a man who on the surface was well-liked in his community? Maybe you can help police find the wanted.